Hey, it's Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Welcome back to my general chemistry quick review playlist. In previous videos, we talked about the atomic structure, the atom, the periodic table, and periodic trends. We also talked about how to put electrons into their shells or orbits. As for today, it's time to talk about Lewis dot structure. I will teach you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for the neutral atom for ions, positive and negative, for molecules, and Lewis dot structure for compounds. We'll talk about it for elements, for molecules, as well as for compounds. And I will show you why some ways are better than others in drawing Lewis dot structures. So let's get started. Please watch the videos in this chemistry quick review playlist in order. First, let me answer the question of the previous video. Which of the following is isoelectronic? with br plus can you pause the video and try to answer this yourself let's talk about it isoelectronic iso means the same electron is the electron same number of electrons as br plus bromine plus get your periodic table and look at bromine you'll find that bromine is element number 35 meaning the neutral bromine has 35 electrons around the nucleus Bromine plus one means that this bromine has lost one negative electron. So now bromine has 34 electrons instead of 35. So now the question becomes which of these also has 34 electrons? Let me look at my periodic table. Look at this bromine. It has lost an electron. So now it has 34 instead of 35. So it's basically here now. Okay, and this is similar to what? A as negative one, which means that this arsenic has gained an electron and jumped into number 34. So the correct answer here is G. As for the other options, none of them has 35 electrons. None of them is isoelectronic with bromine plus one. And now on to today's topic, Lewis dot structure. How do we do it? First, you start with the symbol. The symbol here represents not just the nucleus of the sodium atom, but the core electrons. All the sodium electrons, except for the valence shell, are represented inside the letters N A. How many electrons does sodium have besides the valence electron? Answer, 10. Sodium has 11 in total. 10 electrons are in the non-valence shell and only one electron is in the valence shell. This is the electron that you should represent with a dot. One dot equals one valence electron. Each element symbol has four sides, up, down, right, left. And each side can hold up to two electrons maximum, which means I have four sides. Each one can hold up to two electrons. Four times two means the maximum is eight. Hashtag the octet rule once again. It always comes back. Next, place each of the first four electrons on all four sides of the symbol before you start pairing them. Take neon, for example. This is element number 10, which means how many electrons does neon have in total? Answer, 10. How many of them are in the outermost or valence shell? Answer, 8. How do I draw the 8? Do not go 1, 2, 3, 4, mm -mm. nope, 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 you're not supposed to do this. You're supposed to do it this way. You start here, one, and then two, three, four, singular first. Then you start pairing them up, five, six, seven, and eight. That's how you do it. The lowest dot structure shows us the electrons that are only in the valence shell, nothing else. Everything besides the valence shell is included in the symbol of the element. There are two types of electron pairs. You're either part of the bond, bonded pair, or you are a lone pair, not making any bonds. If I draw a dash like this, that's a lovely covalent bond. How many electrons are shared here? Answer, two electrons. So whenever you see a line like this, think of it as a line with two electrons at the end. And these two electrons are shared shared by the element here and the element here. But what if I drew something like this? A double bond. How many electrons are here? One, two, three, four. 
How about a triple bond? One, two, three, four, five, six. Each element aspires to reach eight electrons in the valence shell, i.e. the octet rule once again. Do we have exceptions for it? Yes, we do. And we'll talk about this shortly. How should I place the electron around the symbol? Let's go back to neon, which is number 10. So I need to place eight electrons in the valence shell. Start top right, then bottom, then left, then top and then you continue right bottom left and top and this is how you achieve the octet rule some teachers and professors like it in this order others do not care exceptions to the octet rule hydrogen helium beryllium and boron Hydrogen has one electron. It aspires to have two. That's the goal. It's not an octet, it's a duplet. How about helium? It has two valence electrons and it's happy with them. Duplet again. Beryllium. It has two non-valent electrons and two valence electrons and it's happy with two. Another duplet. Boron is a moron. It's happy with three for some odd reason. Let's practice. Please draw the Lewis dot structure for these neutral atoms. Pause and try to answer this yourself. By the way, the previous 64 questions were displayed in previous videos in this chemistry playlist. Let's go. Have you answered them? You need your periodic table handy. If you do not have one, go to ptable.com. They have the best periodic tables. And download you a copy. It is free. Do you want to know the number of electrons in the outermost or valence shell? Easy. Look at the number of the group. Sodium, for example, has only one valence electron. How about magnesium? It has two. Potassium has one valence electron. Calcium has two. Boron has three. Oh, not 13? No, no, no. You should look at the digit to the right. Outermost shell equals rightmost digit. Carbon has four valence electron. Nitrogen, five. Oxygen, six. Fluorine, seven. Neon, eight. Now let's answer. Helium. First, look at the symbol in the periodic table. Helium is element number two, so I draw HE. How many valence electrons? Answer, two. So I need to draw two electrons. Okay, Metacosis, why didn't you go top right, then bottom? Because it's gonna look weird. One here and one here. This looks better. It's more neat and organized. Let's go to lithium. Li, how many valence electrons? One. So let's draw just one. Beryllium, Be, how many valence electrons? Two, one here and one here. How about neon? Neon has eight valence electrons. So I go one, two, three, four, and then pair them. Five, six, seven, eight. That's how you do it. Carbon, carbon has total of six electrons. Two in the inner shell, we don't care. The two in the inner shell are included in the symbol. And four in the valence shell. So let's draw four. One, two, three, four. We're done. Nitrogen. Nitrogen is number seven. It has five valence electrons. One, two, three, four. As you see, top right, bottom, left, top. And then you pair. Here is number five. We're done. After this, oxygen has six valence electrons. Here is one, here is two, here is three, here is four, five, six, we're done. Next, fluorine has seven valence electrons. It's one of the halogens. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, bingo. Sodium, sodium has one valence electron. We're done here. Magnesium. Magnesium has two valence electrons. One here, one here, because it's in group number two, which means it has two valence electrons. Chlorine, another one of the halogens. It has seven valence electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. After this, we have silicon. Silicon is in the same group as carbon. It has four valence electrons. One, two, three, Four. If you're not doing this with me with pen and paper, there is no hope for you. If you're just watching this video while laying on the couch and yawning, God help you. But hey, Metacosis, don't worry about me. I got this figured out. You will forget it on the exam. Unless you get proactive. And here are the answers in color. Let's go. By the way, you can download these notes on my website, metacosisperfectionatus.com. Notice these were neutral atoms. 
we're done. Now, can we draw the Lewis dot structure for the following ions? Please pause, pen and paper, let's go to town. Tip, first draw the neutral element, then look at the charge. If it's positive one, remove one electron. Positive two, remove two electrons. Negative two, add two electrons. Let's go. Lithium, naturally, it has one valence electron. But now I will remove that electron. So you just write it like this. Lithium, positive one. We're done. How about Mr. Sodium? Sodium used to have one valence electron. But it's positive one, meaning it lost one. So we're done. Fluorine, fluorine used to have seven valence electrons. Negative one means it has gained one negative electron. So I will draw eight, eight valence electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're not done yet. This is not just fluorine, it's fluorine negative one. After this, chlorine, similar. It used to have seven, but it's now negative one, which means it has eight electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are we done yet? No, you gotta write the negative. Next, we have calcium positive two. Calcium without the positives used to have two valence electrons. Positive two means it has lost two. So I just write calcium two positive or positive two. We're done. Next, sulfur. The neutral sulfur has six valence electrons. Two negative means it has gained two negative electrons. So now I should draw eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are we done? No, I should write the charge. Your answers in color. Pause and review. So we did the Lewis structure for neutral atoms and for ions. Can we do the Lewis dot structure for the following molecules? Please pause. Let's do it, people. Here's hydrogen and hydrogen to be H2. Let's draw each hydrogen alone. It used to have one valence electron, and this one used to have one valence electron. Remember that we can connect both of these together in one covalent bond. So that's your answer. H, H with one covalent bond. We're done. How about chlorine? This is Cl and this is Cl. Each one used to have seven valence electrons. So let's just draw the seven. I'm doing it quickly. But of course, you should add just one before you pair them. And as for the other chlorine, very similar. Let's go. And then this one electron and this one electron can join each other in a single covalent bond. So your answer looks like this. Now let's count the electrons for each chloride atom. Here, chloride, are you octet? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I am octet and satisfied. How about you, the other chlorine atom? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, I am octet. That's why we share electrons in a covalent bond. Let's do it for oxygen. Here is oxygen, here is oxygen. Each oxygen has six valence electrons right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. In order for me to become octet, I need extra two electrons. So how about we share two? We can erase this one and erase this one from here and here. And let's share a double bond. Now let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I am octet. How about you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, I am octet. But hey, Medicosis, what if I draw just one single bond between them? Try it, and then count for each oxygen atom. You will not be octet, which means your answer will be incorrect. Let's do it for nitrogen. Here is the nitrogen. It has one, two, three, four, five valence electrons, and this nitrogen also has five. Let's draw it like this. Okie dokie. Now I am five, which means I need extra three to be octet. So how about we make a triple bond? Okie dokie. Let's count this nitrogen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I am octet. How about you, nitrogen? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So your final answer should look like this. How about bromine? I'll just show you the final answer. Here is Br and here is Br. Since bromine is a halogen like chlorine, you only need one single covalent bond. 
and to make it octet you just add the electrons there if you count the electrons for this bromine or this bromine this is octet and this is octet we are done how about iodine same thing look at this look at this and you add the electrons just like we did with chlorine and with bromine your answers in color can you draw the lowest dot structure for the following compounds please pause let's do it for hcl hydrochloric acid hydrogen and chloride hey hydrogen are you satisfied yes i have two electrons now and i am happy with two because i am an exception to the octet rule how about you chlorine yes one two three four five six seven eight yes i am octet beautiful sodium chloride that's not a covalent bond that's an ionic bond sodium will lose an electron and chlorine will gain an electron instead of sharing sharing is a covalent bond as you see here but giving and taking is an ionic bond how do i write ionic bond we have positive who lost an electron and a negative who gained an electron sodium used to have one valence electron if sodium loses this one valence electron sodium will look like this i will not draw any electrons here and i will draw a positive sign instead chlorine used to have seven valence electrons but when it gains another negative electron, I should draw eight and a negative sign. How about water? Water will be drawn like this. So now the hydrogen is satisfied with two electrons. This hydrogen is satisfied with two electrons. And now the oxygen has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The oxygen is also octet. For OF2, very similar. Now the oxygen is satisfied, fluorine is satisfied, fluorine is satisfied, and these are covalent bonds but this is an ionic bond let's try another ionic bond CaCl2 calcium lost two electrons I draw two positive I do not draw any electrons because calcium used to have two valence electrons after losing both I should draw two plus and no electrons chlorine each one gained one of these two electrons so one two three four five six seven eight negative sign how many chlorine atoms do i have two so you should draw two here some professors will draw the two here instead of here i don't really care hey nitrogen are you satisfied let's count one two three four five six seven eight yes i am now look at these three examples c2h6 versus c2h4 c2h2 carbon normally has four valence electrons in order to be octet it needs to share four covalent bonds one two three four five six seven eight this carbon is satisfied how about this carbon one two three four five six seven eight this carbon is also octet each hydrogen is sharing one electron one from here one from here this hydrogen is enjoying two electrons two 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 and two everything here is hunky-dory but look, when you give me less hydrogens, now I gotta do something different, a double bond. So now this carbon has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this carbon has also eight, bingo. But C2H2, that's a triple bond. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Each carbon is satisfied. This is an alkane, an alkene, and an alkyne. And this will be super important for organic chemistry. Question of the day. Can you draw the lowest dot structure for magnesium fluoride? Are you struggling with the concept of the half-life and all of these graphs of pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics? You shall lay these topics to rest by downloading my general pharmacology course at medicosisperfectionalis.com so that you becometh a better doctor or pharmacist or nurse. More than 1,500 free videos are available on this channel, plus 300 premium videos, which you can access right now by clicking the join button under this video and choosing the highest tier. Please subscribe, smash like, hit the bell, support my channel here or here, go to my website to download my notes, courses, and cases, or if you'd like me to personally tutor you. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine and chemistry make perfect sense.